what we do is we try to do cancer research in detecting cancer. So basically, um, we mainly focus on prostate and breast cancer, but we're expanding that. And every year there's about 200,000 new cases of prostate cancer. And a lot of these cases, what happens is you use simple what's called PSA levels in the prostate and you use that to find out if there is cancer or not. The current method is to have trained radiologists spend a lot of their time trying to manually look at these images and say where they believe the cancer is. So this is very time consuming and it's also there's a lot of inter-expert variability because two different radiologists might have differing opinions as to whether a certain region of the prostate actually has cancer. So our lab is trying to use the images and quantitatively detect where we believe the cancer is with certain probabilities. And if you think there might be cancer, you do a biopsy, which is uh, invasive and painful. So what our lab does is we have collaborators at UPenn and Harvard and India and all over the place and we take MRI images of all different modalities and we try to use those MRI images to detect the cancer so that for example in surgery you can say there's an 80 percent chance that cancer exists at this region of the prostate or breast so that you don't need to do biopsies and a lot of times what happens is the biopsies are randomly selected so for example you would take six random regions in the prostate and just poke it and do a biopsy and hopefully you find the cancer or don't find the cancer. So our lab's trying to use image analysis methods, advanced image analysis methods and stuff that we've developed ourselves to try to detect the cancer. So that's kind of an overview of what our lab does. And what I do, my specific job, is the first step which is finding the prostate or finding the breast or finding the region of the brain you want. And then I give those images to the next person in the lab and they use those regions of the image to detect the cancer. We do most of our actual programming in the MATLAB computer programming uh, suite and it's a very common research tool and we basically have used state-of-the-art methods to take a certain image and extract features from that image. So for example at every pixel in the image we can calculate the mean, we can calculate um, the difference between two pixels, the gradient, a lot of different uh, mathematical features and we use highly advanced um, pattern recognition tools to see which of those features show the cancer. So for example, you might see that the, the variance at any given pixel is highly indicative of cancer, so we would pick that feature. My professor is Dr. Anat Manabushi, and he's actually one of the youngest professors in the engineering school. Um, he received his Ph.D. from UPenn in, I believe, 04 or 05. So he's probably been here about as long as I have. And our lab only started a few years ago with just two or three people, but now it's expanded to about 15 to 20 people. He likes to uh, push his students very hard in a good way. And, for example, I approached him at the end of my sophomore year looking for research opportunities and I assumed I would just be uh, helping other grad students or administrative work, but he immediately started me on developing my own algorithms and trying to implement the current state-of-the-art algorithms, and I guess the goal is to uh, develop the software that's needed for the next generation of uh, radiologists. Undergrad research is an invaluable experience that everybody should do, and uh, it pretty much defined my academic career here at Rutgers.